Leagues are fantastic. Getting Mega Rares in the first week, killing Zora before she has time to even think, skipping that pesky healer phase at Zuck. It's really just an extraordinary way to play the game that the main game does not allow. There's some very important decision making with your regions and relics. They are all very well balanced, but some could be better depending on your playstyle or other choices. Leagues is fantastic, but then something disappointing happens. After the fifth purple in a row, or the fifth Zerat crossbow drop in a row, you begin to realize that drops don't have nearly the same effect as they do in the main game. It's cool to get a Mega Rare in Leagues, but it isn't very exciting. And this makes sense for Leagues. It's a temporary game mode, so you want to be able to quickly get the most overpowered weapons to pair with your broken relics and have a lot of fun while it's here. I'm not against this at all. I think the increased drop rates are fantastic for Leagues. But Old School has always had that excitement of getting a rare drop. After getting 12 purples at TOA in a row, I realized Leagues has removed that for me a little bit. The whites were more exciting than the purples. I take a lot of enjoyment from setting goals and achieving them. In the main game, my first major goal was the quest cape, and then maxing, now I'm working on the collection log and Grandmaster combat achievements. The main game has fantastic pacing for an MMO where I can set realistic goals and obtain them. For leagues, goals seem more orientated about getting tier 8, which happens fairly quickly, getting best in slot gear, which happens fairly quickly, and then the end game seems to be dragon rank. I fully understand I play more than the average gamer. Jip feed me that leagues, baby. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. But ignoring that for a second, I think most people will get to tier 8 and best in slot gear fairly quickly compared to the dragon rank. And not everyone should even think about Dragon Rank. It should be a pretty elusive and a stretch goal. But I think Leagues could be made so much more fun with just a couple changes. Each Leagues is different, so I'm going to throw out some ideas I think could have improved to this Leagues, but are able to be applied to any Leagues as it's more of a fundamental change to the game style. Bosses need a drive drop. Something to get you like... <laughs> Green logging every boss before the kill count tasks feels a bit lame. Wow, there's 500 God Wars dungeon bosses. Thanks for the 200 points. But I don't think the drive drop should be their normal drops. Leaks wouldn't be leagues if you had to kill 2,000 bandits for a BGS. Let people get their shadows early. I also understand making mega mega rares just for leagues is a bit too much. So, using this Leagues as an example of what I think could have been done a bit differently, let's take inspiration from a previous League, Shattered Relics. In Shattered Relics, you got your Relic pieces from RNG activities. So what if just a little bit of that system was applied to Trailblazer, and after Tier 8, you unlocked the ability to get an elusive Tier 9 Relic? This would be your secret tier 9 that you had to earn, but you couldn't earn it on the way to tier 8 because you don't unlock the ability to get relic drops until after tier 8. Each region could have three shards that would be a rare drop from three different bosses in the region. After you get the three shards, you would need to do the region's challenge mode for a chance to make a bond for the relic. It doesn't seem that hard to me at least to make a challenge mode for each region, and this would give some motivation to do challenge modes for each region and actually give a challenge for leagues. Right now it's very difficult to get a party to do a thousand invocation TOA because there's no point. This also diversifies the regions more because region specific relics would be a thing, so maybe the wilderness wouldn't be so worthless after you got the wilderness specific relic. These shards would be fairly rare, and you would actually have to grind for them, and they would be fairly easy to implement, I think, because you're just adding three items that would be exciting to get, but they wouldn't be too tedious to get because you're tier 8, so you've got your broken relics already to grind for them. Let's look at the Wilderness, for example. It's generally regarded as one of, if not the weakest regions. So, say Callisto, Vidian, and Venonatus all have a chance to drop a piece of the Wilderness Tier 9 Relic once you hit Tier 8. 
At tier 8, their Void Waker pieces are a drop rate of 1 in 72. So their Relic pieces could be something like a 1 out of 300 to 400 per piece. After you get each of the three Relic drop pieces, you need a way to put them together. So now you can start doing the Wilderness Challenge mode. For the Wilderness, it could be something like an arena with all three of the main bosses placed in at once, so you have to kite them and flick prayers appropriately, and then after you kill all three, you get a rare chance at the Bonding Agent that can allow you to use the region's relic. The Wilderness Relic could be something simple, like allowing the Wilderness Weapon effects to take place outside of the Wilderness. Of course, this is just an example of what I think could be improved with this league. But fundamentally, I think any league could use a challenge worth attempting, and drops that actually get you excited. I think Jagex did a wonderful job with the Harder Chambers, Theater of Blood, and Jad challenges this league. And they're all great examples of challenge modes that you would get one of these bonding agents from. TOA is a little bit iffy in this league because it just made 500s into easier 300s. There's not really a reason to go too much beyond that. I think any region could have a challenge mode. We could have Hell Gauntlets, a version of Nex where she has access to all four mages at once. Kandrin could have Chaos Fishing Trawler. That being said, I hope Jagex doesn't skip any more years with leagues. I normally don't like equipment or animation transmogs, because games tend to lock them behind fear of missing out practices, but Leagues is just a lot of fun, and getting rewards from it is just the cherry on top. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this video. I'm gonna go chop, chop some trees on Leagues.